Before we begin, we're not sorry for the vividness of what we say, because this isn't a fictional story we've created, it's a reality we portray. This isn't a scene from a show or an action film, there are no characters with a role, this is blunt and real. Young and elderly Muslims in Palestine want peace. All you see is loved ones covered in blood and white sheets. Blood, sweat and tears to protect Al-Aqsa, but they need our help. I swear I felt helpless when a man was praying outside but got attacked. The world becomes careless when the news is about Muslims and black. Fighting together to protect the youth of today so they can be the next gen. Give them the knowledge instead of them going pen. Let's not shy away from talking about those who scream through their pain, yearning for freedom, wishing for a change yet nobody hears them, blood dripping on their face, longing and needing, holding on to their faith as they seek the help from the one they believe in. People of Palestine need our help. If it was your country, how would you have felt? Sadness, mothers tearing, fathers grieving, children screaming. Remember many years ago, there was a video that surfaced of a father and his son, Hiding behind the cylinder stone as they stared against the barrels of guns, the father waved his arms in peace and brought close his kid, but then the guns were fired, and that there became the last day that his boy would live. Then we have the story of Izzuddin Abul Aish, a Palestinian doctor who lost his three daughters and niece in the worst of ways. They had a tank that was directed straight at their home, and then bang, silence fell as the four girls were blown. One day you'll be free Palestine and you'll be satisfied. I can see the message you all have in your eyes is flaming, fire seeking help. The fire can't be extinguished within your eyes. You guys have seen everything. And sometimes seeing the sunset or sunrise, you don't know the difference if it was a bomb or not. All you see is many lives lost. Bombing events seem very mediocre. They weren't given peace, so you should be grateful being under shelter. Now let's imagine that was your kids. Battered hopes and dead dreams, unhappy and tortured. Broken homes, bullet wounds, bombs dropped by air forces, while others watch from the TVs in their living rooms holding on to their sons and daughters. How do we watch so blindly at this challenge they've been bought with? When did we lose our emotions and become so remorseless? When did we become so numb to the image of corpses? And when did we become so cold, so heartless and thoughtless? I pray to Allah we shall witness Palestine wake up to birds humming and children running. One day, Palestine, you'll be free. You'll be hearing the hummingbirds on a sunny day and play in the showering rain. Release the pain and continue the inner patience. I pray for patience in Palestine. I pray for joy. I pray for their freedom. They might not be famous upon this world, but they'll be famous upon the heavens where all the angels are. The link up with Palestinian families in, in heaven, inshallah, will be a great one knowing they won't have to run away again as they will have peace and love. I pray Allah grants Palestine the freedom they need. I pray he fills them with the hope and a drive to believe. I pray he follows their hardships with his promise of ease and that the children of Philistine are given a reason to dream.